We've heard your request, and today we've got one singular goal. Challenge the Automa in Wingspan, apply solid strategy, and go north of 100 points. This is Legendary Tactics. So I am here with my wingman Flash, and we are going to walk through this game and uh, see how well we did in my goals. <laughs> well played. I, I thought you might like that, Flash. Man, that's well done. <laughs> so tell me what you're thinking here in your initial card draw. Do you tend to go two cards and whatever food they need? Well, I was thinking I want to get um, cards, and I want to get eggs. And so the, uh, the Grasshopper Sparrow there, it was cheap. Yes. Uh, and the uh, Common Little Binner was going to get me some cards. And so uh, I thought that would be a good... That, the, that uh, bird choice there was, or sorry, the uh, the, bonus the bonus choice. Card. It was either fish or, or birds. I thought, well, I already had a bird in, or uh, sorry, a fish in my in my hand there with the common little bittern. So I thought, why not yes. get off? We got enough start. And sometimes there's enough going on in the game that it's good to have something really simple and just birds that eat fish keeps it nice and clean. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and you can get eight points for that if you get four plus birds. So that's actually really, I think, a, a good bonus. Yeah, it seemed pretty solid, and uh, you know, we just got to keep our eyes peeled for those uh, the fish eating birds now. Absolutely. And uh, so keep track of that. And now that I've got this this bonus with the common little bitter here, which is kind of nice, you gain one card from the face up section. So that's uh, perfect. Yeah, it'll be just extra little bit of card draw there right away. Yeah, you is... did not hesitate on your your picks right off the bat. You knew what you wanted and you went for it. Yep, yep. I find you just kind of you know, and it's really hard, especially the early game, to get those birds that require three food. It's just yes, it's so hard. To, yeah, they usually are more powerful, but oh, geez, the uh, the amount of uh, you know resource they take off the off the hop early. That's right. It's a bit rich. Now you're up against the Automa here, and this video is actually the result of some comments we've received on our channel. Uh, we've had some high scoring games. You did a 150 plus game. We even went up to a 186, but uh, I think people complained that we, we had stacked the deck with a lot of computers who were feeding us points. So um, tell me about what people want from you in this game. Why are you doing this video? Yeah, I guess they wanted to see, you know, okay, you, you can get these higher scores with, uh, you know, when you have the multiple, multiple people at the uh, at the game board there or AI whatever uh, but uh, you know when it's just heads up you don't have as you don't have that kind of uh, the triggering ability a lot of events will often uh, come with so then how do you kind of mitigate that and how do you how do you work around that and still get a decent score that's right yeah I mean anything between 80 and 100 is is solid I think anything over 100 you're doing really well and I mean, I'd love to see what the top scores are. I can't imagine people scoring much over 130 uh, against just the Automa. Yeah, it but, seems like uh, it would be a much tougher slog. Uh, to, to, oh, yeah, I, I know it is a tougher slog to get there. It is. <laughs> so, if anybody's done that, please uh, let us know. Point us to the video. We'd love to see it. If you can get 130 or more against the Automa, that'd be amazing. To yeah, check it'd be in, a great, so. uh, yeah, great, great feat. And I see you've got the European expansion in here, Cax. Yeah, so I've got the tell me EA. So, uh, yeah, and just for those that aren't unsure of that, it's that uh, you'll see it on the uh, on the bird cards there in the top left. There'll be a little banner saying EE. So that just stands for the European expansion. Like the Eurasian hobby there is an example of that, right? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. The region, yeah, exactly. Yep. So right front and center there. And so it's got a low low food cost. It's worth four points. But uh, tell me about that power. So it's got the weird power where you can place it on top of another bird. You get rid of the eggs and the food that are on it, and it becomes a tuck, the card underneath becomes a tuck card. So why would anyone ever want to lose points this way? Yeah, so if you ever, for that kind of a card, you'd, you'd probably drop that on a card that had, like, fewer than four points, uh, maybe, maybe even zero points. Uh, another place you might drop it is on a card that um, no, has a one-time ability that you've already used up. Right, yes. And so you drop that on, now it's a tucked card, so you actually get, you gain a little more, you get some, some points off of it as well that way, so... Oh, so you get all the bonuses without any of the negative consequences. Yeah, yeah. If, if it's a if it's a one-time event card, then yeah, it's already been you've already got that bonus. So you may as well that throw something sense. on to throw something on top doesn't hurt you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we edged him out here. So yeah, that nice. was eggs in the uh, in the grasslands there and took it. So there's there's the first uh, nice chunk of points. Perfect. Uh, and we now are... any uh, challenges you're facing in heads up play here. So just trying, you know, resources are always a bit of a trick. The re I find the resources are one of the hardest things to really get going. You don't get a, a freebies from the other players all the time. No, and so this card, this yellow build uh, sap sucker is going to be helpful though, because now when I take resources, I get uh, the extra the extra worm there. So 
Yeah, you're really eyeing up the forest here. Is that part of the strategy is overcome the absence of food in the game by really targeting that top row? Well, and, and because I'm getting good card draw off of the, the wetlands, I was able to dump a card, actually that Eurasian hobby you mentioned, and yes. uh, pick up actually three foods for that now because I get one free draw. I got the one with the card, and then I got my uh, the sap sucker gave me a worm. So you go from, yeah, you get, you know, what would have normally been one without this card, I get three now, so... Brilliant. Now I drop down that indigo bunting, which is also going to give me a, uh, a worm or a cherry from the when I when I use the uh, the egg options. Yep. You know what's actually really cool about this heads up play is the game feels like it moves really really quickly. You're not waiting for all the different birds to or powers to. I was noticing that it's, it's kind of lightning speed. We, we just get finished talking about one plan and oh, and there. Speaking of the, the plan, there's the kill deer. The kill deer. So, I mean, notice you know in the what? intro, I did not say using some of the uh, more OP birds. <laughs> That's right. Eh? Now, you yeah. notice, I oh, did, you didn't even take it there. Well, because wait, my common wait. bittern, my common bittern gives me one of the free face up ones, so I was like, oh, I'll leave yeah. that to the second go round. <laughs> but hey, you know what? We'll forgive you for not taking it because you didn't take it in the very first round. So yes, you're not yes. maximizing the uh, the advantage from that bird. So. Well, not yeah, yeah, because we're uh, you know, we're we're uh, you know past the quarter point anyway, so. That's right. For those of you who aren't too familiar with this game, the kill deer is considered widely considered the broken card in the game. So, um, yeah. it is it is a huge bonus. And and I mean, as you say, you're you're looking for any opportunity to overcome that food disparity. So and I mean, actually, kill deer and right it. now, um, I mean, my uh, my grasslands are always actually like the perfect row because you're getting eggs, you're getting cards, and you're getting yes. resources. All three in, in one in one take. That's right. So, so and that's one of the major overarching strategies we looked at in our strategy guide, yes. which is make sure you get one card row that feeds everything. Yes, and uh, that is now in perfect effect going on in the grasslands. So this, this is exemplary play, I have to yeah, say, Cax. Yeah. That's an A plus for you. Now you know maybe you'd make it an A because of the kill deer. I, I would understand that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> well, I'll still take the A. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, so this round's bonus is um, uh, eggs in um, in ground nests. So we're looking for those ground nests. Um, that that Bell's Vero being the star the star power, it accounts for all birds. So that's kind of a nice one to uh, to throw that's in there. That's right. Well, hey, when I know when I play against you, I have to grab those star powers quickly because I know you're always eyeing those up yeah. to get those end of round bonuses. And so you'll notice that I, I have two. Know you as well as I. Yeah, do. that's right. You'll notice I have two of them currently in my deck. So oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> you just love those cards, but but I think you love them for a good reason. They're I think they're good solid cards, but then they add that added versatility, especially when there's um, in those bonuses. There's three different uh, places that you can. Uh, put that to you. Just eked him out there for the uh, the ground nest. So there was my second uh, uh, second victory on uh, end of round bonuses. Nice. So that's good. So the yes. Bell's Vero, I've actually got a good little combo planned for the Bell's Vero, uh, and it'll it's uh, not just coming yet, but it will happen um, with those. Um, it, I believe it's well. I'll, I'll I'll surprise you with it. Let's say there's a there's a bit of a there was a plan coming with that. So. That's right. Oh, and my mistake, sorry. It's only, actually, the star nests are only good in the second bonus, so um, and I, I said it was three, but it's actually only in the one. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, because the other, uh, what's the last one? Oh, in this sets particular game. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, last yeah, one. yeah, yeah. It's only in, actually in round number, the second round bonus. That's so. right, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. so I noticed you hovering on the, the, you were hovering on the rosate spoon bill there, so that was a six-point card. Uh, you get a bonus card out of that, so what's your, your guiding your card selection here is that, are you looking for those bonuses um yes so i was end, end of game bonuses yeah i love those love those bonus cards so they uh that's it, it's um it's a bit of a risk to uh oh and speaking of bonuses here's another one right now it, it, yes. speaking of that risk so, and ca cartographer so you got one it's currently one point on it I hate those ones. Birds with body parts in their names. Oh, oh, it's either, it just seems so random. There's the red-eyed Vero, and that's the one that's actually a bit of a misplay. I thought I had to actually time that up proper. That red-eyed Vero, though, it would have allowed me to play two cards. I could have played the Vero and then played the Bells, but I'll, I'll do it now anyway. Oh, right. So, yeah. sorry, it wasn't the Bells Vero I played, but if I, I could play that red-eyed Vero into, uh, and then I can play there the, uh, yeah. but I need to get the right. You need the food. I need the food right, cost. The right food cost, yeah. So I'm going to be getting the food that I need. Yep, you got lots of eggs, nine nine eggs at the moment. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then we'll be able to uh, get that worm that I need to drop the, uh, the 
affiliated woodpecker in there. So, uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll continue. But this the spoon bill is uh, actually one of my. I, I really like that card. It's it's worth six points. Yeah. So you get a decent chunk of points, and you get that um, potential, uh, you know, a bonus card that could really score you well. So. When's the best time to get a bonus card in your mind? Like, I guess you don't want it too late because then you can't prepare for it. But if you get it too early, then you might actually force your game in a direction that doesn't complement the rest of the end of round bonuses and the cards that are given to you. So what, when would you say is ideal? I think ideal. I mean, obviously you're going to get them when you can get them. But ideally, I would say mid-game. Because okay. that way you've got, you know, you've got a, a base and then you, you always get two to pick from. So, you know, you, there's probably one that you might, your hand's kind of leaning towards or your, your board is leaning towards. And, yep. and then so. you can just, um, you know, continue down a bit of that path if you, if, if you keep that in the back of your head. That's right. It might be good to actually spread them out. Get one early where you, you force your, your board towards it. One in the middle where you retroactively plan for it. And then at the end game, you might get a lucky one. Yeah, that's true or, too, right? And that's sometimes what you just kind of shoot for the moon and hope 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 you hit something solid there and, and get a good uh, you know a good bonus card that just happens to align with what your your current uh, deck is. Absolutely. So. Yeah. In order, what would you say are the most important uh, goals that you have strategically? I mean, are end of round goals uh, your priority here, or are you focusing more on bird points or? What, what do you, uh, uh, bird points is your biggest, like, like for sure, hundred percent. Bird points is your biggest. So, like, if you're looking at my hand there, I've got, I've got a nine, an eight, a seven, seven. a six. Especially late game, you want those high scoring. If ones. you can drop those down, yeah, 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 you could drop those down. You can get some decent. Uh, I got another six. I mean, I got some pretty decent scoring birds in there. The problem is the food cost. They usually cost it like three a piece, right? That can be a challenge late game too. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It, it totally can be a hindrance now i'm also thinking about that last um that, that that bird bonus of the of the fish so yeah i always love eggs too for some reason if you get that the middle uh prairie or grasslands going it uh feels like your your eggs can just oh if you could if you could spam eggs yeah but you need the birds with a lot of uh capacity with capacity that's right so, so which my, this mine isn't, really mine a game isn't where you're... great this game i mean i'm only at 20 no and i'm already really. and i'm already 11 fi filled so it's um yeah, I don't have a, a ton of room, but uh, so. but you're already like that. That map, you've got 14 points right there, just on the bird cards alone, and you've only got 11 eggs across all three of your habitats. So, yeah, by far your your bird points are scoring much more. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm so we're we're doing okay there, but uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I find that especially at the end, that the, the the birds generally will get me the the biggest the bird points will get me the biggest chunk of points in in my game. I think you can't overlook the end of round bonuses. I think you have to mm -hmm. always hit at least if you're uh, trying to get in, in the top two. Well, if you, especially in heads-up play, what what you take, he loses. And, you know, if you lose those bonuses, then it's it's a it's a bigger shift than you actually think. Oh, and here's another little power play as well. So the great blue heron I just played yes. for five points. Now nice. I could play uh, I could play a second one in there, and I've got all big scoring Ooh, birds. Look at the huge yeah. So eagle. that uh, that rose spoonbill though the bonus card is is fairly tempting. I'm guaranteed yeah. 11 points for the round. You got the and it's a balanced food cost too. It's, it's so also they... a fish. So I think I've maxed out yeah. my fish eating birds, but that's okay. Yeah, you've already got uh, how many was it? You needed four. I think more? it was. was uh, it? Yeah. And you've already just you got three quick, just on that one. Yeah. So need need to give up another egg for it though. This so and then here we score bird building build platforms. I already have five. Yep. So one nice. more platform, I believe, would, would bump me up to the, the higher category there. Very nice. So that was a really good turn. <laughs> so uh, this is a, I don't know what it is about this engine builder in particular. I love this more than all the others, like terraforming Mars, and um, I, I'd love to get into more Arc Nova. That one looks like a lot of fun. Yes, but, yes, that's uh, one on my to-do list. Actually, I've been I've been slowly working away at it. We've we've talked about getting that one going. Definitely. So, but this one, it just there's something really satisfying about this game. Yeah, that, that really is. Yeah, Bald it's it's got a great. I, I hadn't I hadn't played it in, in a few a months, and coming back to it was it was really great to uh, to revisit. So, yeah, absolutely. A lot of fun to play in the digital app too. Yeah, and actually, I I found this uh, European uh, the European expansion. I mean, I'm still getting kind of used to the cards. I haven't uh, had as much experience with them, but uh, they they've got some interesting abilities. So kind of neat. Yeah. 
I was in the game store today. I saw Oceania and the Asian expansions too. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, there's just so many card potentials there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they haven't brought that to the app yet, so I'll wait till it comes in on the app. That's right, and we can uh, <laughs> take we can muck take a bigger look there. Yeah. So this last so this last bonus too, and of course being the biggest bonus, it's sets of three in each of the three habitats, and one turn left, and I'm one ahead. So nice. and I've got a lot Just of eggs to. Uh, I, I I'm thinking eggs. The egg drop is my best option here, and try and. That's right. Yeah, even things out. Try and beef it up as high as I can go here. There you go. And uh, Very nice. see if oh, we yeah, can't you get can it up it. to at least six or seven here. You've got them. Don't want to discard any eggs on this last round. No, you do not. Don't need to take food, but I will lay one more egg. It feels like the end game is when you really have to start mathing it out. A little bit. Where it's little how many bit. points do you get here versus there. and. So that blasted me up to six, so I don't think he can... No, even if he had no a way. really good egg laying situation, I don't think uh, he's going to get nine down. So. That's right, yep. Yeah. So that um, that should give me the, oh, the bonus there. Oh, there you go. Seven points yeah, for first seven. place. So there, at the end of round, bonus is seven, six, Huge. five, and four, right? So that uh, I, I I literally I maxed out the most amount of points for that. So looks like you guys are about even on the birds here. So Who's you can see win? for birds. Oh, oh you got him just by one. By one. So forty-four points for birds, right? So there's your biggest. Wow. Yeah, and you crushed them on the bonus cards. Yeah, end of round End bonus, of round goals. Yeah, eggs? Ah, I didn't do great on eggs. It's going to be close. Yeah. Oh, you Just beat you. Yeah, 20 to 18. Food, not much. But there yeah. it is. Wow, okay. There, 102. Yes, 102. So we just nice. got through it there. Cracked 100. So. That's great. Well, and, and please let us know in the comments, too, uh, if you've ever topped 100 points against Heads Up with the Automa. Love to hear it. Love to hear what strategies you use to get there. Yeah. What are your final thoughts on this game, Cax? What really worked for you here? Well, I think that last little bit uh, in uh, in round five, or, or sorry, round four there, where I, I played the two birds into the wetlands, uh, hit that hit the bonus card that helped uh, that platform builder card right there. Actually, I, I just That's maxed right. that seven points out, so that was um that was a big turning point in the game. Yes, you got your uh, four there for the eight points on fishery manager. Yes. Yep. So That's that good. was a good. Uh, we did all. We did really well on, on the bonus. Uh, yeah, I'll add up. I, I did really Four. well on playing two birds into the same habitat. You know, you you uh, doubling down in habitat. I, yeah. I got my resources up and running fairly decently, so there was that bonus. Um, and a really balanced tableau too. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, I maybe didn't. I maybe underutilized my uh, my grasslands. I probably could have probably could have gone in there and been a little heavier in there. But uh, no, overall, I think it was a pretty solid game. Yeah. Well played, and thanks so much to uh, the people watching the video. Check out some of our other Wingspan content. We'll link to that at the end of the video here. Thanks for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics.